All right, in this video, I want to show you how to use a jump stop. All right, now this happens to be a trade that I'm in currently. And as you can see, it's the June S&P on a 60 minute time frame. And I'm actually long two contracts and I'm up 787.50 on those. I originally got in when it came up here and it broke through this high or this high here, over here during this time. Let me draw a circle around that here. Actually got in the first time here. Then the market dropped and it came back down. And when it dropped, I thought that was just news related. So I got in at a point down in here somewhere and I bought another one. And so that made me long too. So it averaged me in at uh, 2940. All right, so I've got two contracts that I'm averaged in here. And so I'm up, as you can see, 762 on that. Now I've got a stop right now on two, just below the 61 or 62% level of this move from here to here, all right? That started at 11 o'clock on uh, yesterday. And like I said, that's a 60 minute chart. So if the market hits these highs up here, I'd be concerned that the market would drop back down and I'd go into a losing scenario, which obviously is not something that you want to do. So I took my dollar calculator and I drew that out. It's $1,025. I need to know how many ticks that is. So I opened up the preferences over here and I put it on ticks. All right, so it's 82 ticks. So what I'm trying to do or will do here is that if this market comes up here and tests these highs, then I want my stop to automatically, without me doing anything, bring it back up to break even. Now that's a very tight stop. That's like a thousand dollar stop on the S&P is a very tight stop. But for an example, I'm just showing you this as an example, and it wouldn't be something that I wouldn't do anyway, but uh, I'm gonna go down here to edit order and I'm going to put a jump in here, which I've already done, at 80 ticks and 4. So if this market moves up 80 ticks, it's going to automatically move my stop up to break even plus 4 ticks. So 4 ticks, 50 bucks. That covers my expenses and any slippage that I might have. So click OK. And now you can see that here on the chart it says 80, 4. That means that that jump, J for jump stop, is going to go 80 and 4. So if the market moves up, I didn't put it exactly uh, 82. I'll put it at 80, give it a little bit of breathing room there. It's going to move my stop up to break even plus 4 ticks. So on co two contracts, that's locking in $100 less slippage in commissions. So maybe $50, right, that it locks in. So I can't lose on that. Uh, unless it comes back and stops me out, obviously, before it hits the highs up here. But you can see how powerful that uh, uh, market is today. And the jobs reports came out today. It was a very positive job number. So that's why the market rallied today. It dropped over here because of the FOMC meeting and uh, scared that they were going to raise interest rates or something. So it was all news related. Uh, had nothing to do with the real value of the market. It was news related. So most of your news related stuff will come down and then back up, might come again the next day or something, but eventually it will go back up to where it was, all right, most of the time. So that's what I'm counting on here. So again, this jump stop, it's 82 ticks from my entry, and I set my jump at 80 ticks and four. So if that market moves 80 ticks in my favor, which is just right up to here, I will go, I'll have to stop automatically. I don't do anything, it's automatic. It'll go to break even plus four ticks, all right? Now, when you have uh, trailing stops or jump stops, and we'll get into trailing stops on the next video, I believe, uh, you can't shut your software off. You can't turn your computer off. You have to leave your software running because if you turn it off, then there's no way that uh, the software can move your stop up you know, on a jump or a trailing stop or anything else because the software is not running. So this order does not go to the exchange like a, an entry order would. So your trailing stops and your jump stops 
are specifically on your computer and they're not at uh, the uh, clearing perm. So anyway, that's how you'd use a jump stop. If you have any questions, uh, jot them in the uh, comment box below. Drop me an email. I'll be more than happy to uh, set up a webinar with you and go through it in, you know, on a one-to-one -one if you need that. All right, I'll see you in the next video.